Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Johan Duplessis. In this video, I will show you how to manage the drawing plane in Sumo to prevent frustration and ensure that you model effectively. I will also show you the different ways in which you can manipulate the active drawing plane. Sumo is a powerful graphical modeling tool that allows you to model a structure in 3D. In order to define objects, we need to snap to certain points first. There are a number of snap settings, however, at the very beginning we can only snap to the grid as there are no other objects to snap to. For that reason, it is important to understand the active plane. The active drawing plane can be seen in the right hand corner of the modeling space. Notice that it changes as I rotate the coordinate system. If I were to start drawing now, it will be on the active plane exclusively. This is not a problem if you are working on a plane frame, however most of the time you would want the structure to be modeled in 3D. I can give the model depth by copying in a certain direction and for this I would want the XZ plane to be active. Note that there are four saved views, front, top, left and an isometric view. These views come in handy when you want to look at your model from an orthogonal angle. Now, say I wanted to draw a slab at an elevation of 4 meters. I can draw it at 0 meters and move it in the y direction by 4 meters, or I can define a level at 4 meters, activate it, and then draw on that level. After I'm done drawing, I will switch back to the main model. Defining a new level is the best way to do it as it allows me more flexibility to edit the slab geometry later. The most elaborate way of manipulating the active drawing plane is defining a reference axis. The reference axis can be defined at an angle, which is very useful when working on a sloped structure. For example, if I wanted to draw a plane shell, the best option would be to create a reference axis at the required angle. The reference axis has been defined, and once I activate the reference axis, the active drawing plane will move accordingly. I can then start drawing my plane shell on the active drawing plane. You might struggle initially to draw on the correct plane, but with some practice it becomes very straightforward. Finally, it is important to take a minute or two before you start modeling to think about the various ways you can model the structure. This will allow you to choose the quickest way and will save you lots of time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.